What's up, family? During a speech on Long Island on Friday, Donald Trump, your president, took a break from discussing illegal immigration and gang violence to give the law enforcement officers there some advice on how to handle suspects. What he did is basically gave them a pass to act like criminals themselves. Check out the video. Leave your comments and I'll come back with mine. And when you see these towns and when you see these thugs being thrown into the back of a paddy wagon, you just see them thrown in rough. I said, please don't be too nice. Like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head, you know, the way you put their hand over. Like, don't hit their head and they've just killed somebody. Don't hit their head. I said, you can take the hand away, okay? It's essential that Congress fund hundreds more federal immigration judges and prosecutors, and we need them quickly, quickly, if we're going to dismantle these deadly networks. And I have to tell you, you know, the laws are so horrendously stacked against us because for years and years they've been made to protect the criminal, totally made to protect the criminal, not the officers. You do something wrong, you're in more jeopardy than they are. These laws are stacked against you. We're changing those laws. But in the meantime, we need judges for the simplest thing, things that you should be able to do without a judge. Okay, what I want to know is, if the suspects get injured, who's going to pay for the lawsuits? I can guarantee you Donald Trump won't. Furthermore, if the suspects are found to be innocent after the due process, who's going to pay for the medical bills. Who's going to pay for that subsequent lawsuit? I can guarantee you Donald Trump won't. You know who's going to pay? The municipalities, the city, the governing body, us, the taxpayers. That's who's going to pay. Right now, we're paying to hear the advice of an idiot. This guy is a damn fool. And you elected him to be president of the United States of America. America is the laughing stock of the world. Everybody is laughing at America right now because they're saying to themselves, damn, that's the best they can do. I've lived all over the place. I've lived abroad. And for a long time, people had a lot of respect for America. Not anymore. This dude is the worst of the worst. I really can't think of right now a person that's worse than him. It's hard to even think of anybody that could be as bad as this dude. I wish I could say that I was shocked, but I'm not. Even criminals are guaranteed due process under the law. This Second Amendment that you guys speak so highly of, that's covered in the Second Amendment. Now, either you're going to respect the whole Constitution or you're not going to respect, respect any of the Constitution. It's all or none. You can't pick and choose which amendments you want to abide by and which ones that don't really matter. It don't work like that. Law-abiding citizens don't have to worry about being attacked by the police. That's what some people say. Well, if you follow the law, you do what the police say, you won't have any problems. See how all that sounds good in theory till you run across one of those overzealous policemen and it happened to you. See, I live in the suburbs, have for the last several years. And from time to time, 
I see good law-abiding citizens being violated by the police. I've seen a good, innocent, law-abiding citizen hogtied in his own front yard. This is one of those guys who said, I can't believe this happened. This is not supposed to happen to guys like me. But it did. Because that's what happens when you give people that much authority. Oftentimes, people in power abuse their power. They stretch their authority. And this is going on all over the place right now. In America, the police community relationships are strained. Some fool, any fool, let alone the president of the United States of America, telling cops that it's okay to injure suspects when they're being arrested. That's the last thing that we need. That's ridiculous. From the president of the United States, a president speaking like this. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, for the ones that, that like this guy, for the ones that just follow him blindly, you don't see anything wrong with that. Keep in mind, the operative word here is suspect. Y'all don't see anything wrong with that. This dude, Donald Trump's behavior is abnormal. That means that something is wrong with him. He not right. Hands down, one of the most disgusting individuals in the world. This is not about gangs and illegal immigration. Because what is done to the least of us will be done to the rest of us. I can guarantee you that. All they do is they use the most extreme circumstances. They use defenseless people. They use the people who have the least amount of power to make an example of why they need to do what they're doing, why they have to be so aggressive, why they have to lay down the law so heavily, why the, the hand of the law have to be applied so heavily. Having the rest of us who are good law-abiding citizens making us think, wow, they have to do that in order to protect me. They're going to protect me. Protect me. But see, what this does is that it it feeds into the negativity that a lot of people have toward police officers already because a number of cops out there stretch their authority. These type of statements don't help to, to repair community police relations. They do more to divide us. This dude is the president of the United States of America and he sound like a common thug. He's, if he was not the president, come on, y'all, be real. If this wasn't the president of the United States and you heard somebody say something like that, he would be reduced to a common thug. This sounds like something that some thug in the street, some drunk in a bar would say, not the president of the United States. This doesn't sound like something the president of the United States would do. But this particular president, he's capable of anything. That's why they say power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So this dude was already corrupt before he became president. He already had power and he was already corrupt before he became president. And y'all rewarded him and made him president. I mean, with the help of Russia. But still, a lot of y'all are still standing by him and you're aiding in this foolishness. You're aiding in the destruction, the complete destruction of America. 
like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head, you know, the way you put their hand over. Like, don't hit their head and they've just killed somebody, don't hit their head. I said, you can take the hand away, okay? Donald Trump, somebody need to put your crooked ass in a cop car because you are a disgrace to the human race. The operative word is suspect. That means that a person is suspected of committing a crime or an offense, but has not been proven guilty. Apparently, you're unaware that America is a nation of laws. When you and your family are being investigated for known crimes, all you do is cry and scream fake news. But when it's somebody else, a simple accusation is enough to suspend all rights. Say, man, stick to lying, tricking, and Twitter rants because that's all you're good at. Always talking about somebody's appearance with your bad built ass. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Florida, Texas. Florida, Texas.